Hey everyone, thanks for joining us here at Book Blather. If you're new here, I'm Dave, this is Olive, and we mostly talk about books to help spread the joy of reading. So, we are very sorry. We've totally fallen down this last month. I think we only put up one video in the last, I, I don't know, three weeks or so. Life stuff happening, so we've had very, very little time to read or booktube uh, this past month. So, we're sorry about that. Whoops, did I bump you in the nose? Sorry about that. We're back on track. We're, we're getting refocused. And uh, so we're just um, haven't had much time to read and haven't had much time to book tube at all. But we're refocusing now. So we've got a couple of videos to, to hit you with pretty quick. We've got, we, we, we had a, um, a, a great like book, um, book hauling adventure that, that we didn't put up. We have, um, we have a, a, an event announcement that we're going to be doing. We have a few books. We did actually read a few books that, that we got to talk about. But the first one we wanted to do today was basically some book gifts that we got. And so <laughs> there's a couple different types. The main one is what was in the title, which is our um, our books from England. But first, the, we bought one for ourselves recently. And we so we recently read the book uh, We by Zamyatin which was a you know dystopian early dystopian novel. And so we picked up this When the Sleeper Wakes by H.G. Wells. See this is a very very old science uh, a science fiction classic version of this. We picked this up because you know there was a lot when we were reading we you know there was a lot of discussion about that we had had a, a big influence on later, uh, you know, basically um, originating the, the genre. And it had a big influence on, on later big books to come, you know, regarding uh, totalitarian societies like 1984 and Brave New World. And we was, you know, basically one of the first. But we was supposedly somewhat influenced by this book, When the Sleeper Awakes by H.G. Wells, which was published back in 1899. And this one is about basically a guy that some mysterious sleep overcomes him. And so he falls asleep for a couple hundred years. And so he wakes up in a very different world. And it explores, I think, a number of different things. We haven't read it yet. It explores a number of different things, I think, including totalitarianism. And so, uh, you know, we, we kind of wanted to, you know, we read this book that influenced all these other big books in the genre. And so we kind of wanted to get our hands on a book that supposedly influenced that book even earlier. So we picked this one up for ourselves, although we're trying to do less of that these days. We also received a gift not from England. This is from our good friend Dia over at Novel Idea. And I didn't bring the book over here, but we recently read and reviewed a book called Exhalation by Ted Chang. And that was a series of some relatively recent book, recent years, and it was a collection of science fiction short stories, but they, they were phenomenal. They were all like, they were all stories that really make you think. They're science fiction with, with a philosophical bent. We absolutely loved it. It was an incredible book, of a collection of short stories. And so our friend Dia saw how much we liked that, and so she sent us this, Stories of Your Life and Other Stories by, by Ted Chang. And this, this is his other collection of science fiction short stories. This came out a while ago, I think 2002, 2002. And this has, um, you know, stories of your life, as it says right here on the cover. This, that was the basis for the motion picture Arrival, uh, which was a great movie. So I never read the story. So I'm looking forward to reading that and everything else in here because uh, Exhalation was absolutely phenomenal. And now... We have this, we received this package, and we are almost certain that this package is from our friend, Gareth. Oh, there it is. I missed the sticker on the back. So it is indeed from our friend Gareth over at Book Songs and Other Magic. Uh, he had mentioned he was going to be sending us a package. And um, so if you don't know, Gareth is a very good friend of ours here on BookTube. We have a a live stream show together every other Thursday night called Is This Thing On? If you haven't come by or if you're new here, you should come check it out. It's uh, it's We have a lot of fun. We talk about books, biscuits, and all sorts of other crazy things. 
Um, we always have guests and we always have a lot of laughs. So come check us out if, if, if you haven't. And uh, so he sent us this package. I know it's books, but I don't know what they are. So where did I put my, oh, here's my scissors. So let's see. Let me, let me careful about this um and we'll see what's in here very exciting all right he packaged it really well Ooh, oh wow there is a lot in here okay we'll take them out one by one let's see ha oh harlan ellison okay he's a Gareth, as we're talking about this, okay, Harlan Ellison, uh, number three, I guess, Deathbed Stories, okay, and we had been talking a fair bit about Harlan Ellison, and we had actually, uh, Gareth and I had, uh, we were very lucky to have the guest, um, Mark Scott Zakri, uh, who is a, a, uh, you know, a, he is a, he, he is a, he wrote the authoritative, book for uh, Twilight Zone very early in his career, but he has uh, been a, a television writer, producer, director, uh, so much stuff, you know, everything from Star Trek to the Smurfs, you know, to just everything, like Babylon 5, he's all sorts of, all sorts of stuff. He knows a lot of people, and when he was young, there were, he had different professors and different people that he met, um, writers for some of these shows that had a big influence on him. Uh, we had him, he was a guest of ours on, on our show that I just mentioned. Is this thing on two episodes ago? That was episode seven, I think. So you should definitely go check that out. That's that's here on the channel. The, all those shows are below. Um, yeah, definitely go check that out. It was very interesting. Uh, but we had talked a lot about Harlan Ellison. Now, Harlan Ellison, he had he had dealt with Harlan Ellison. Harlan Ellison had big, been, been a, um, a very big influence early on. And so... Um, that's great. So I'm sure this, that's why Gareth sent, sent me this because I actually have not read any Harlan Ellison. So this is, this is great. Awesome. Okay. Next is, oops, are you okay? I keep bumping you, huh? I keep bumping you. There's no, no, there's none of those in here. I do have one over here. That's what she's looking for. If there's a package, you know, there's, she's always wondering if there's a little something in there. So, all right, Ala. Yeah, I know. It's exciting, right? It's exciting what's in here. Oh, Neil Gaiman Stardust. Awesome. Okay. We've wanted to read some more Neil Gaiman. We have a few Neil Gaiman things, um, and, and we have um, a couple that, that have we've wanted to read urgently. We read we read his... Uh, oh, there's a bookmark in here. Oh, <laughs> that's a Gareth bookmark. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Um and we had wanted to read um, more Neil Gaiman. We read what was one of the ones we read was uh, Ocean at the End of the Lane, which was a very, very um, cool little sort of um, I don't know. I guess you'd call it a little bit of a, a supernatural, magical realism sort of little fantasy story. And uh, uh, but yeah, we've definitely wanted to read more Neil Gaiman. So um, thank you very much, Garrett. This is awesome. All right, let's see what else. What is next? Oh, okay. Excellent. This is Ten Tales of Transformation. This is one of Gareth's own books. And there, see a little picture of Gareth on the back? A little bit of a younger Gareth. And uh, excellent. This is, um, I've, I've been hearing, people have been, have been really enjoying uh, reading this collection. So this is excellent. Um, I didn't tell him what I downloaded one of his other books and started reading just just a little bit of I just started just to read a little bit on the, on the Kindle actually which I don't usually read on the Kindle but um, so that's awesome <laughs> thank you Gareth um, wow there's a lot in here holy cow okay next is Ben Aronovich Rivers of London Hmm, I don't know anything about this. I'm assuming Gareth has talked about it. Let's see, this is London, as you've never seen it before. A city of, of wonders and terrors. A city of ancient secrets, which is haunted by its past. A city where you are never far from magic. A city Peter Grant will help you discover. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Makes me think of, um... Makes me think a little bit of, um... 
um, Victoria Schwab's uh, Shades of Magic series. Uh, that's that's really cool. I mean, it sounds really cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And it looks like we've got one more in here. Um, we got a bunch of Garrett's bookmarks, which is cool. Oh, yeah, I've seen. That. Okay, so this is. Let me show it first. This is Old Man's War by John Scalzi. Yeah, I've wanted. I've wanted to. Uh, this is one of the ones I've wanted to read. Uh, I, 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 I see this one like all the time. Um, yes, this is this is great. This is uh, this is a little bit more of a like a, a military sci-fi. And um, wow, yeah, excellent, excellent. That's great. This will be great for. Um, this will probably be great for this summer. I don't know if it's old enough for the event, but there's a science fiction event coming up in uh, in the summer. And if not, then we'll do it for New Worlds November in, Nove in November. So we got two science fiction events coming up later this year. So we'll definitely read this during one of those, if we don't read it before, but um, probably for one of those. So awesome. Wow. So what, what, a, what a haul here. Thank you very much, Gareth. We got uh, Harlan Ellison, Deathbed Stories. Neil Gaiman, Stardust, Old Man's War by John Scalzi, Rivers of London by Ben Aronovich, 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 probably how you pronounce it, and of course the best and one we're most excited about, The Ten, Ten Tales of Transformation by Gareth Howells. That is awesome, awesome. Thank you very much, Gareth. We're... we're we're very, very excited. That's a wonderful package. So thank you, Gareth, and thank you, Dia, also for the book that you sent us. We, we just never amazed at how the kindness of, of all our wonderful friends here on BookTube. It's just it's absolutely amazing. So very cool haul here, and we didn't even have to go anywhere for this. Everything just came to our house. So this was uh this was great. So all right, let us know if you as always if you've read any of these uh, or you're looking forward to reading any of these. Uh, we'd be uh, we'd love to hear your comments. We always love to hear from you. And if you don't have anything substantive to say, of course, you can always leave all of a puppy emoji. She does always love to see those. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again very, very soon. But in the meantime, take care of yourselves and each other, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.